I didn't show up here in a car. Wait, what? Wait, can I actually drive a car in this game? Oh, that is a mistake. No, are you kidding me? This is an open- Get out of the way! Oh, come on! <laughs> What's up, guys, and welcome to Thief Simulator, a game that a lot of you guys have been requesting for me to check out, but I don't really know anything about, other than the fact that it's almost 10 o'clock, which means it's just about time for Dollar Store Jason Statham here to borrow his mother's driving gloves and go steal stuff. I have no expectations of this game other than the fact that I hope it's not another sneak thief. Okay, I can't handle another sneak thief. One is enough. I've been told that this game is good, I've just been waiting for it to load for like five minutes. I'm trying to think that that little dude made off with my last 1%. Oh, okay. Yeah, it took him a while to load in all of the well-fenced trailer. <laughs> it's the middle of the night. We should probably keep our voice down because my crowbar is leaping. Vinny, what the hell did I just say? You're going to wake up my crowbar. What's wrong with you? Hey, it's me, Vinny. Pick up that crowbar and listen up. We got a lot of ground to cover. And who were you exactly? I seem to have some kind of fairy thief mother. Okay, time to wake up, buddy. We gotta go to work. Yes, Vinny, what do you want? The Lombardis paid you bail. Thank you. They're generous men, but they're all about reciprocity, if you get what I mean. No. Let's see if you're up to the job. Knock over that house for me. The last one. What, the shack? Because it looks like it's ready to fall over on its own. All right, Gladys, nap time is over. You work your magic on the fence, and I will begin sneaking. Hello. Oh, 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 oh. Does she see me? I don't think she sees me. Ma'am? Okay, we're in the clear. We're off to a great start. I clearly do not need a tutorial in sneaking, okay? I'm nailing it right now. I guess I'm just gonna have to zombie walk my way over here until Vinny has something of interest to say. Why do I walk with my arms out? Vinny, can you explain that one to me? Hey, some dope left a flashlight on the ground. Take it, but don't let nobody see the light and call the cops. Yeah, something tells me people aren't going to be too attentive around here, Vinny, but why would somebody leave a perfectly good flashlight out here? They're just making it easy to steal stuff. Okay, we now have a flashlight. Let me guess, it's F. I don't need tutorials, okay? I'm already a master thief. Me and Gladys here know exactly what we're doing. You see that window? That window's getting smashed. Well, ma'am, I may have been able to open it. I didn't read the little cues, okay? It's fine, everything is fine. We're gonna climb in here and we're gonna steal everything. Vinny, am I supposed to steal stuff now? Could you explain that to me, please? Uh, good job. Time to redistribute a little wealth. Ah, okay, I'll get right on that. I may sneak around like some kind of crowbar-wielding velociraptor, but I am a very high standards thief, okay? I'm not gonna take just anything. Right, I, I don't want used clothes or knockoff Yeezys. I'm going after the big hauls, like a stack of dollar bills. 15 bucks, okay, you know what? I'm not above cash. <laughs> I'll take it. I'm really curious where my flashlight is right now because we can see both my hands. So is it just in my mouth? <laughs> is there a mirror in here? We stole their teapot. Okay, I, I I take it back. I'm not a high standards thief. If it's not nailed down, we'll take it. Okay, we got another pot. We have another stack of dollar bills. They're just kind of hiding them everywhere. That was mean-spirited. Reality, I probably don't need Gladys right now, but if there's somebody in here, you never know if you're gonna need to pop a head. Uh, steal some stuff. Oh, like this. And this. Okay, Vinny, I got the toaster. Where do I bring it? Time to bail, man. Get in the car. Don't let nobody see you with that crowbar. What car? I, I jumped over a fence to get here. I'm so confused. Okay, no, I'll take the saucepan. You know what? I, I can't leave without that. Uh, anything filed away? No, Vinny wants me to leave, but I'm not ready to go. Okay, there's definitely more stuff in here somewhere. 
Washing powder. Pro clothes. Up to 100 washes. Okay, you know what? I'm starting to think that there isn't anything else here to steal because they do their laundry in the bathtub. <laughs> so I should probably just make off with what I have. And uh, he didn't want me to be seen with Gladys. Yeah, can't do that. Door's locked. Uh... Vinny? How oh, right, right. I have an entrance, so I probably have an exit. Oh, I see. There's people roaming around at night, so I probably don't want to run into them, but I'm stuck in the backyard. I think I need to break another window. Because <laughs> I need to get out the front, right? So I'm going to have to... Oh, I could just climb out through this open one. Yeah, I probably should have considered that, right? I'm not doing anything sketchy. I'm just walking around in all black with thieving gloves at night, just like all these other people. Right? It, it, it's 11 p.m. It's, it's a great time to go for a walk. I didn't show up here in a car. Wait, what? Wait, can I actually drive a car in this game? Oh, that is a mistake. No, are you kidding me? This is an open- Get out of the way! Oh, come on! <laughs> Yeah, that's some unwanted attention. Why are there so many people out for a walk in the middle of the night? Okay, they're probably the thieves, not me. They should be avoiding unwanted attention from me. And wrapping yourself around the hood of my car is definitely unwanted attention. So I just need to drive away right now, I think. I drive out of the location, so I need to make a run for it with my grand heist of... A, a rusty toaster and a saucepan and $45 in single bills. <laughs> How did I do? That's an A. Yeah, I, I really feel like we earned that A. Sneezy Anus is leaving the thieving life behind, okay? He's filthy rich now. He can go home to Vinny. What do you want, Vinny? Good job, man. Thank you. This just might work. Go get some sleep and we'll pick this up in the morning. So this is my home. I live in some kind of thieving garage. <laughs> and I'm guessing this is, oh no, this isn't my bed. I get to sleep on a couch. Maybe I should sell that teapot and buy the mansion now. Wait a minute, why do I sleep on a dirty old couch if I have a laptop and a Mac? <laughs> like I have a whole lot of stuff going on here. You think I would spring a little bit of money to sleep on something that isn't flea ridden? This must be my storage storage. Okay, so if we wanted to, say, hold on to that teapot, we could. It uh, It's a three pound teapot and it's worth uh, a square worth of money. Okay, yeah, we'll, we'll hold on to that. I'm sure we're gonna be able to sell them eventually. Have a bunch of parts and stuff. We could do some crafting. Oh, we can appraise jewelry. That's interesting. This is a really impressive game. I, I gotta say, I expected it to be like Sneak Thief. We would just steal stuff and move on and that was it. But it's actually like open world and you can upgrade your place and you choose how long you can sleep for. Okay, uh, let's just get a good night's sleep, okay? We've been doing a whole lot of thieving. We'll, we'll sleep until 9 a.m. and then rise and shine. Cause Vinny's on the horn. What can Check I do for you? There's a few things I need to tell you. Which computer, Vinny? Some of us are uh, very well. Oh, this one's locked. Electronics, hacking tool. Oh, this is another workshop. So I can work on computer stuff here as well. Okay, so this must be my thieving computer. <laughs> here we Tools go. Tools for thieves let you buy new kit online. But you might not have what it takes to use them all. Click on Steal Your Forum. So Tools for Thieves is a website that sells tools for thieves, and then there's steal your for- there's just a website for everybody! So I already have Gladys, we already have a flashlight, do it yourself simple lockpick, regular lockpick, climbing gloves? Those are definitely quite a bit nicer than mom's driving gloves. Okay, uh, steal your forums. Here you can buy secrets. Hot tips on what's where, who's guarding it, who leaves the door unlocked, whatever. Check out what I wrote on Greenview 109. Oh. Interesting. So we got some scoops. 109 is where I just was, wasn't it? I, I recognize that little shack. So we can get uh, house security tips, uh, possible lo loot location, house security tips, and house security tips. Right. Now, go to your car. Okay. 
Easy to break the damaged wooden fence in the back. Old TV worth a buck. Spare door key in the drawer. There's no one home all the time. Okay, so that should be pretty easy. I have an account balance of $45, and I'm logged in as Thief321. Really couldn't have came up with a better username. Tried Sneezy Anus. It's genius. I don't know what TV he's talking about. I looked through the entire place pretty carefully. Vinny, you got any answers to Go that? Go loot at the pawn shop first. You'll need empty pockets at Greenview 109. Oh yeah, my backpack is full right now. Okay, so we can go to the pawn shop and sell all of our riches before we head back to the same place again. Ah uh, yes, the pawn shop. I'm sure they're gonna be very interested in my wares. How are you doing? A greasy Russian man, I would like to sell you some pot. Sell you a pot for $8. There's a big difference. How about a tea pot for $8? I got an old toaster, a little bit of rust, no big deal. Three bucks, great. And a saucepan, eight bucks. So we made off with a grand total of about 70 some odd dollars. I, I, I gotta take this, J just, just one moment there, Igor. It's time for Greenview 109. Get me that TV, and don't pawn it off. Oh, don't pawn it off. Okay. So, I, I, there was no TV. I'm really confused what he wants me to steal and what he wants it for if he doesn't want me to sell it. Why don't I steal something from these places? Okay, these people clearly have a whole lot more than a $1 TV. Okay, sorry, sorry, I'm blocking traffic apparently. I need to not draw unwanted attention, okay? We've done this song and dance before. I just need to not break traffic rules, wrap somebody around my hood. Definitely unwanted attention. Okay, I can park here, right? It's a trailer park. Nobody's gonna mind. Here we go. Now, I said that the fence was weak around back. Apparently, this is a very interesting dumpster. Oh, this is a, a hiding spot. Yeah, I saw that same symbol with the bed last time. Okay. So I could hide there if I want to, good to know about. Uh, we'll just take out Gladys real quick. No one wanted attention, excellent. Um, I could, but my lock picking skills, yeah, I don't think so. <laughs> Easy enough. There's no one around, right? This shouldn't be too bad. So people are again leaving piles of money. Oh, oh crap, I'm hearing things. Who might be able to see me? Maybe I should sneak? And uh, I probably don't need this in my hand. <laughs> Why do I walk around like this? I'm not losing my mind, right? It was 109 that we stole from last time, unless it's 109 on a different street. I'm not really sure. I'll take their toaster though, and I'll take their pan. <laughs> and their piles of money. More pans, sure, why not? Okay, can't take their ketchup. Or their bread box. Anything of interest in the fridge. They got it locked. Of course they do. I need the TV. They also have... Is that a safe? Maybe? Probably not, considering they had twice that much money next to the garbage in their bathroom. Uh, nothing in there. Oh, oh, right, they had a, a front door key. Probably, no, no, don't close it, you little stupid raptor boy. Come on, sneezy anus, just grab, there we go. Okay, we got the key. Very important, I guess, and then the TV, and we're gone. Right, we should just be able to go out the way we came, and there will be no problems whatsoever. I can't, can I just chuck the TV? Climb, there we go. Did I didn't bring the TV, okay, hold on. Turns out you can't climb through windows with a big item, so I'm gonna have to drop it on the floor. I'm sure Vinny's gonna be really happy about that, but that's why I got the front door key. Now I should be able to pick it up and just walk out, and I'm not doing anything suspicious, right? That That's locked. Okay, I'm gonna have to go around back, but I'm just walking around with the TV. Not all that suspicious at all. So I'm just going to mosey on over to my car. I could run, but I'm afraid that that might draw attention. Uh, I, can I put this in the trunk? Yes, I can put this in the trunk. This is actually a really in-depth, can I just, just put it, I, I, I'm do, not doing anything shady, I'm not doing anything shady, how do I put it, how do I put it in here? There we go, there we go. Nothing nothing shady going on in here, here. okay, screw you, I'm getting in my car, don't make me run you over. <laughs> the master thief 
played it cool the whole time. I wish I had a horns that I could just blast it at these people. Uh, uh, no, no, my god, are you out of your mind? What's wrong with you? You and your twin almost just got smushed by me, okay? This thing doesn't have great brakes. I'm stealing dollar TVs. I don't exactly have a lot of money to put into the car. Oh my god, I thought for sure I was gonna run that guy over. We are going not to the pawn shop, right? He doesn't want me to pawn it for some reason, so we're going home. How did we do? We got a bunch more saucepans. We're adding to the collection. I got an S rank. And I have a skill point as well. Really? I learned skills? That's pretty awesome. Okay, Vinny, I got the TV. What do I do with it? I see you got my screen. Go to Black Bay. Oh, I see. Black Bay is a website. Probably like the thieving version of Pirate Bay. I set up a page on there for the TV. Go there and sell it. Okay. So we can sell through, like, Kijiji ads, as opposed to, uh, for you guys, I guess it would be, like, Craigslist. Kijiji is the Canadian version, but I, I guess the pawn store owner wouldn't give us quite as much. So, where do we sell this? Electronics? Old TV? Eh, good 60 work. bucks! Now, click on the Rent-A-Thug tab. Do I want to rent a thug? I thought it said rent a tug there for a second. I was going to say that that's a, a very different proposition. Now here you can find a little extra work. I put one on there just for you. The one with the dishes. What? I don't want to be hired to clean dishes. Break their dishes. Okay. I'm the thug being hired. I just assumed that I was hiring somebody else. Now I'm logged in as thug 322 rather than Thug321. So it's just burner accounts, I guess. That's interesting. Okay, I'll take this job. Okay. Now, drive back to 110 and break some dishes with the crowbar. 110. Okay. So is this the place that we've been before? Because I already broke those dishes, didn't I? I'm so confused. Well, the good news is I found third person for driving, which makes my life way easier. But the bad news is, I'm not really sure where I'm going. I'm looking for 110. And I'm afraid that if I look at the minimap for too long, I am going to cream somebody. Okay, it should be right around here. So, oh, no, no! That's gonna cost me $2, okay? <laughs> now I gotta go and steal a teapot or something like that. What the hell is this bush made out of concrete? <laughs> Did I, oh, he actually beat up my car! <laughs> Oh, come on! Oh, that is that is too realistic. I, I don't appreciate that. Yeah, no unwanted attention here, okay? Just getting into a car accident with shrubbery. This is probably where I was last time, right? This looks a little bit more familiar. And I can't get in there. Uh, is this open? Beautiful. Yeah, you see? They, they got their saucepan again. I'm gonna have to take that because I need to fix my car. Anything filed away yet? No, okay. I definitely broke these dishes, right? They, they replaced everything that I took last time. Inventory full. Oh, I didn't go to the pawn shop in between. Damn it, okay. Well, I guess we'll just smush that. I said that that was very, you know, mean the last time. What do you I want? I just heard you don't even know how to pick a lock. Go learn the basics. I'm sure you've got enough skill by now. Right, I have skill points. Okay, hold on, I gotta see if they replaced their $15. They did not. Damn. Well, you can always hope for the best. Anything in here? Nope, okay. So, um, how do I learn? Here we go, we have Sneezy Anus's skills. So I can learn level one lock picking. Open easy locks with a lock pick. All right, uh, I'll take that. I don't have a lock pick right now, but... Great. Now, go buy yourself a DIY simple lock pick on Tools for Thieves. Great. So I'll just drive home. I gotta go out through the window because I don't have the lock pick yet. <laughs> Is anybody gonna notice me? Oh, there's a lot of people around. Yeah, let me just hop in my car and, and hopefully get away in one piece. Now I'm really curious if you could just demolish your car, because I noticed that in your home, 
you have like a, a lift so you could probably repair it or prove it yourself really in depth how did i do this time i would imagine a c what do you mean a C? I took everything that was available. I smashed all the dishes. I might have dinged up my car a little bit, but I, it's just bogus. Who's giving me these rankings? Is it Vinny? Because he can see these nuts right into his mouth. And we're gonna go to Tools for Thieves and buy myself a simple lock pick. 20 bucks, done. Just a screwdriver. <laughs> what? Before you get yourself into trouble, Try it on a training lock. I left one in the garage. Okay. Kind of interested in how this would work, because lock picking is pretty interesting. I've watched videos on how to do it in real life, so how accurate will this be? Hold on. There we go. Okay, so it's the exact same as Skyrim. I I've got it under control. <laughs> so you know what? I think that's going to be it for this episode of Thief Simulator, guys. And I am seriously impressed. Like, I, I thought that this was going to be uh, just a, a stupid little thief simulator game. You know, most thieving games are just you go into a house, you steal stuff, you leave, you get a high score, and that's it. But this actually has, like, an open world concept to it, and a bit of a story, and I'm guessing that I can upgrade my house and increase my skills, and it it it's just really cool. So if you guys want to see more, as always, be sure to leave a like on this video, let me know, and I would love to return to see if we can really step up our game and steal more than pots and pants. Thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Thief 